Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about um, finding the final amount in a word problem on a continuous exponential growth or decay problem. Now, if it is a growth problem, then it means that your rate of growth is going to be greater than zero or positive. If it is a decay, then it means your rate is going to be less than zero or negative. So the question we have here is the number of bacteria in a certain population is predicted to increase according to a continuous exponential growth model at a relative rate of 3% per hour. Suppose that a sample culture has an initial population of 348 bacteria. Find the predicted population after four hours and round to the nearest 10. So if it is a continuous exponential model, then that means that we are going to be using this particular formula for exponential growth uh, or decay. And remember, the growth and decay part indicates what the sign of the R value, the rate. Now, since ours is a growth problem, it means that this 3% is going to be a positive 3%, which means if I change that to a decimal, it's going to be positive 0.03. Now, the time, we do have the time. The time that we're trying to find is for four hours. So that's going to be my time is four hours. And we do have an initial population of 348 bacteria, which is what P represents is that initial population. So it's 348. So essentially, all I'm going to do is plug everybody into my formula and find the final amount after all the calculations. So A equals 348E raised to the 0 0.03 times 4 exponent. And I can type that in the calculator. Um, this calculator may be a little bit different from the other one, the yellow one, but it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to look for the same buttons. You want to find a button that has the E on it, and then that way you can type in an exponent. So 348E to the 0 0.03 times 4 exponent. So once you do get the expression into your calculator, it should look exactly like it does on paper. So you can see there what I have and what I have on paper, it's exactly the same. And when I hit enter, I get this number. And then it does say to round to the nearest tenth. So I am going to take this decimal place here and look at the one to the right to decide what happens to that um, spot that's underlined. So this will actually round to 392.4 since six is five or more. And that is an example of this problem. Now be careful because if in Alex they give you a similar word problem, but it says the word decay, if it says the word decay, then your rate should be a negative, and then this number would be a negative decimal that goes into the exponent. 